Hey guys, it's Scott Spatsy Channel, and today guys I'm going to show you how you can transform Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7 to look like a Windows 8 PC. It's a transformation pack, um, it's a very easy and simple installation, and there is custom settings you can choose when installing it. Um, this does not alter any um, start any files within your PC, so it's uh, it's safe. Um, and basically, all it is is I can make it. Basically, what this uh, does is it installs a theme. Um, edit allows you to have a Windows 8 theme and also installs one or two programs to allow you to have uh, the Metro um, interface. Um, <clears throat> um, the, the thing about this is though is um, it will use a bit of CPU, quite a bit of CPU on your PC. So if your PC hasn't got a very good CPU on it um, or is slow, then I recommend not doing this um, unless you want to. Um, this does edit the startup screen, the control screen, I can't remember what it's called um, sorry about that um, and it'll basically then um, obviously install the metro and do this taskbar and the uh, theme and stuff um, <clears throat> so basically all links will be in the description but I'll go ahead and quickly show if I go to the left hand side of my screen, screen and click it pulls up this, what shows the uh, tasks running on my PC, what is obviously my internet and my recording software. Um, that is a bit glitchy. Um, obviously, you will have to keep an eye out because this is uh, 6.5. So, if you save the link somewhere and just keep an eye out to make sure they didn't bring out any latest versions. Um, you may notice like the taskbar is a bit different. I'll open up a, um, a folder. I'll pull up hit this. Notice the uh, theme at the top is a bit different. It's a bit um, see-through um, arrow. Um, I haven't done any um, the settings yet because um, I've recently installed a different tol sort of transformation pack because I did have a different one before this one, but it was a bit buggy and glitchy. So um, and the Metro sort of messed up and I couldn't keep and it, the desktop button where you go to your desktop what this is um, it sort of kept vanishing so I had uh, quite a few issues of like having to reboot the system and the program and everything so I found quite a few issues but I haven't edited any of the settings so some of it may not look like Windows 8 yet but there is a custom customizable settings you can do so if I now go to the right hand side and click I bring up this interface um, obviously you have your date and the time you have the settings connect start share and everything um, if you go to settings, this is where you can edit everything. You know, you know, you can check for updates and everything. Um, but 6.5 is the latest. See, whoops. So it shows all this, um, all your information. So you know, you can change everything. You know, you got widgets, general. No, 12 hour clock. Um, you know, so you can just go through and settle that all up to do with that. Um, and then if I open this up now, if I click on start, this will bring up the Metro GUI interface um, sort of thing and here it is. Um, I can slide to obviously add, um, add more stuff. I don't think you can add that in the applications though, not that I know of. Um, whoops. Um, here you have your user so you can log off for start, shut down, click on here, you can bring up the windows for your computer you know, um, Internet Explorer has actually got the Metro Internet Explorer here. So, you know, it's going to open up Google. It's all cool. Um, you know, you've got your really cool date and time little calendar thing. I love that. Um, and also, you have your desktop down here, you know, control panel and everything. Sorry about that if you just heard a little bleep in the background. But yeah, that is that. So basically what you do is links will be in the description. You go to Windows 8 Transformation Pack 6.5. Um, if I go back a... Whoops, no, that's my history. Um, boom, here we go. Um, I did have the Windows 8 UX Pack 65. Um, and that one was a bit buggy, I found. Um, but though this one's more easy to edit and it has more options, I think. So, um, you know, from my respect, so looking at this one, the Windows 8 UX Pack 6.5 is better, but it's more buggier. Um, but the one I'm going to show you is the Windows 8 Transformation Pack 6.5. I'm going to tell you now, they're both the exact same installation, so you can easily pick. I'll put both links in the description, to be honest. But um, what you do is you pick whichever one you want. Um, so, obviously, I've got Windows. I'm using this one at the moment. 
If you just scroll down to the bottom, there will be a link for download Windows 8 Transformation Pack 8TP version 6.5. Make sure it's uh, the latest version you download, so if uh, there is 7.0 or whatever, download that instead. Um, once you've downloaded it, you go to your downloads folder, whoops, and it will save as a zipped file, so you just extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR, and then you'll get a file that looks like this. Um, if you then open it up and run it, boom, this pops up. And then here, this is the settings sort of thing like to do with this. Um, looking at it, um, here I recommend this. The thing about this one, the good thing about this Windows transformation pack, is it innate, like it allows you to have an option where it enables with repair check recommended. So this means then when there's, if any of the files get damaged for the theme, it'll automatically. It'll basically what it'll do. It'll automatically repair it. What I think is really good because if you accidentally like one of the files gets corrupted or you know you're in uh or something happens you accidentally remove a file you shouldn't have this will repair it but with the other one it doesn't um so now system font configuration um this is what you want to pick um just uh anyone you can pick from here to be honest but um i'll have this one selected now for the this for this part you want to have the metro ui desktop selected because if you have it disabled you wouldn't have anything um, charm, go away. Ch um, charm, charms bar basically is just normal Windows 8, just without the uh, Metro effect on the right hand side. And obviously, this gives you the Metro desktop. Um, if you're using XP, you can select to have larger icons and the flip 3D task switcher. So that obviously gives you like the scrolling effects like this. Um, if you're on Windows XP. Um, AeroFrame UI, um, so you know, this uh, is the frame um, for Aero. Uh, then you have the taskbar user title, so normally in the bottom right corner there will normally be the icon of the uh, user, but um, obviously I have that not checked. And then also then Aero's auto colorization, Vista-7 only. Um, that basically, for some reason it doesn't work, what is quite weird. Um, but what it does is it makes your um, Windows colors change to whatever application you have running. So if you have Spotify open, it'll be green. If you have a folder open, it'll be like an orangey red. Um, like that. I'm trying to think of some others, actually. Um, hmm. Skype makes it go blue. Um, so you can also like configure. So that means if you change any of the settings, you click configure to configure it. And just uninstall it if you don't want it anymore. Um, and that's pretty much it to be honest. Just exit setup. Um, so links will be in the description. So this is how you can get the uh, Windows 8. If you click on connect, that's still under development. You know, um, search. You know, it's basically just the internet. So you know, share. Um, this is sort of a bit messed up to be honest. So let's escape from that. Um, you know, I quite enjoy this, you know, pretty cool, Windows Media Player, doesn't use the newest one, unfortunately, but you know, it's, it's all cool, it's all cool, it's pretty good, um, so you know, this is, this is pretty much everything you need to look at, it also has the new videos application, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to show you the photos because uh, I have a mixture of mine and friends' photos on there as well. Um, but there it is, guys. That's how you can uh, transform Windows XP, Vista, or 7 to look like Windows 8. Um, remember, both links will be in the description. Um, I'm going to say now, um, as I did say, both of these transformation packs both have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, but if you want one what's not going to be buggy, pick the Windows 8 Transformation Pack. But um, the problem is though, it's the uh, Windows Aero theming. Go away. Um, the Windows Aero theming for this one um, won't change, or it's not as effective. It doesn't change like the window bar colors at the top and everything. Um, so I find like it's less buggy, but it has less features. Uh, or less working features. Um, and then the Windows XP UX pack obviously.
has more features but is a bit more buggy so it's up to you which one you choose but they're all installed in the exact same way and if you notice the two screenshots you can see the two installations look almost identical. Um, when you are installing it, make sure you have um, all the drop down options, make sure you have Metro um, in that section otherwise you won't have Windows 8 features um, if it's just chroma bars or anything like that and it'll only be the theme, it won't give you the Metro desktop or anything so yeah, um, just, just give you a quick warning up now before anyone starts commenting the same with that, their Windows 8 theme doesn't really work but okay guys, um, that's how to install Windows 8 Transformation Pack um, please rate, comment, subscribe, all links will be in the description and thanks for watching the Scott's Pack Sleep channel and see ya